Hello, and welcome to ALW Exploration. Today we're at an abandoned leisure centre. This leisure complex was completed in 1933 and was the hub of local authority entertainment until 2003, where a structural report and repair costings were submitted detailing major faults with the foundations and steel beams in the basement areas which hold this grand hall in place. The centre closed to the public shortly after this and the council had moved out completely by 2006. The repair costs were simply too high and will likely never be completed. This complex in Birmingham, United Kingdom is probably never going to open to the public again. It's just been left here like this ever since. These would have been the stainless steel railings they use stainless because of the chlorinated water from the main swimming pool. There is another swimming pool deep inside this building so keep watching and we'll show you that soon. But this is the typical Edwardian layout of a swimming baths. It's got a deep end and a shallow end like many swimming pools but it's only short and the lanes are wide meaning it was made primarily for leisure swimming not not like sports swimming on a at Olympic length which this isn't now typically for this period of swimming baths the changing rooms are at the side where you'd come sort of partially dressed in your swimwear and just take your top clothes off and you'd be allocated a number by the reception staff and this would be all at locker room for the duration be a couple of hooks on there you get your bench for getting changed on and then you've just got this small locker room then you've got the baths to look forward to all of these old tile bricks from that period where they build entire walls out of tile bricks. We saw this at HMS Ganges. That was a very similar layout to this. Beautiful architecture from that era. So if for some reason they put scaffolding around the edge to give it some edge protection. But that's been broken up over time. The old hand dryer there. Where's that hair dryer? That's an old hair dryer, isn't it? So you'd get, possibly get changed there. And then you've got a hair dryer. So there must have been showers here that have been stripped out. That was like a central shower area where you'd you obviously get showered in your swimwear still, or you'd get arrested. It does happen. And then you can dry hair at the edge where the water would return back to the boiler. Put the depth marker lines on the side. This would, these would have been in feet and inches back in the day. That's what these are for. These tiles are for the depth difference than depth marker. Unfortunately, this has suffered vandalism over the years and it's become damaged. Here, yeah, three foot six. You see that there? So, this shows how long this place has been abandoned. 
that graffiti is 10 years old now and it shows how few people have been in because that would have been tagged to bits by now and it's still intact it's interesting that they've left the lane marker in again HMS Ganges I'll put a link in the description box or there might be a card above if I remember to do it during editing I'll put a card in for HMS Ganges that had a really really deep pool because they used it for diver training for the Navy guys to cut costs. Helmet. I wore a hat. That's what we've got down here then. So this is the service areas. Now this, so the other side of here is the pool, and you know the little overflows that we saw the little trough it goes in, while well, the water comes back down this pipe and into this big pipe. That is a non-return valve, so it only lets water go one way. So it's all collected from along here. Goes through this, goes that way. And then if we follow that down, there'll be a big boiler. Sea winds low did the checks on the 29th of March 2005. Treadmill lubed. So there must be a gym here as well. We'll find that. I think all the gear will be gone, but there is a gym. Or a BT telephone. Hampton City Council. So we'll carry on looking around. So what we've got here is air bottles and compressors. So that's an air compressor. So there was a pneumatic system here. So there must have been a spa. You know the bubbles, the jacuzzi bath thing. We want those here somewhere, so we'll find that. Because these are the air receivers from a post 
from purse to compressor. That's just like a gantry. So I don't want to be in there. Got daylight shining through there. We believe this system was used for a hydrophonic jet on the inside pool, which we will see very soon. Further that way. Oh, this is the other pool. Large repair patches can be seen here on the pool floor and sides to prevent leaks. This loss of water from the pool into the footings of the building has been a major contributor to the accelerated decay of the structural integrity in the foundations of this building. It's around here, there should be the showers. Uh -huh. It's all been stripped out. All the metal work's gone. So there's the bench. Oh, look at the decay there. You see how the mould's actually grown through the wall and plant roots are growing within it. There's plenty of water. The water's running down and the roots are chasing it. But there isn't anything here, it's just a void. So they're just growing along behind the wood and getting nutrients out of the wooden panel. That really is nature taking itself back. Taking back abandoned buildings. Paint flaking away. The roof that used to be painted blue. This was the uh, children's pool. The benches. And there's big pipes over there. There could have been for jets, you know, water jets. Like either a little wave machine or the bubbles from the air bottles we saw earlier. But it's very eerie this one because it doesn't have any windows. That's an old vending machine. Well beyond it. So this is the main reception area. Where you, got, where you would have got your tickets and a big staircase there. Oh, sun bed. Be careful when we light under the windows. Steam room. Old steam room there. It's the coals they used to pour, pour the water on to make the steam. Did you used to frequent this leisure complex? If so, please leave a comment. Oh, gym room.
if you haven't done already, please subscribe to ALW Exploration on YouTube. It's completely free and it really helps me out if you do that. Oh, big water tanks. more area down there. So these are big these are big water cylinders I believe. Water softeners perhaps for the pool just to control the pH level of the water. Automatic pool controller. Got the waterproof sockets because there was a lot of water around in this area. So we're in the uh, plant area now. Check this out. Some of the old Allen West motor starters. You stop start, and then there inside there's contactors, which are big electronic switches for turning the motor on and off. down here and this will be around the other pool with all the electrics down here over in this area this is the main electrical room where all the power came in that looks like parts of an old air cleaner a handling unit and then this was the electrical distribution area, which has been pretty much stripped to bits. This is armouring off a cable and this isn't got scrap value, that's why they always leave that. And the stalactites come down from the roof. That is sort from an old coal boiler that they would have down, had down here, which was probably ripped out and replaced by a gas boiler. And the gas boiler looks like it's been removed. Because that hole in the wall there was quite probably where the gas pipe came in. And that's all been taken as well. So the gas boiler was probably here. Yeah, because all the heating pipes are here, look. They're heating pipes. So the boiler was in this room. Then the chimney would have gone up above. And that's all been removed and panelled off with wood. This looks like it was a canteen or a restaurant. This has had the glass brick window and someone smashed it up, kicked it all through. Some of the glass, some of the glass bricks are still intact. You just build a wall out of this stuff. It's quite easy to work with, to be honest. It's real easy to put it up. You see the structure is starting to fail and they've had to acro prop it up. 
that's probably led to the beginning of the end of this leisure centre due to its material state and the upgrades would have been too expensive more than likely I confirm this later during the investigation into this large building complex Another changing room here, this was probably a staff changing room. The old retro light switch. Proper 1930s. Because once the building's decayed like this, all the rooms look the same and it's really hard to not be disoriented. See, this has been sealed off, hasn't it? Yeah. Them stairs are fucked, aren't they? Right on the side. Well, the other stairs are better. Oh my god, on the other stairs. Yeah. Them stairs are well dodgy. This has been the cash office. There would have been a safe in there, more than likely. And that's why it was bolted to the floor. That was a famous San Gamo time switch. I found one on every explore. That would have been for the outside lighting. More than likely. Oh. If any, of you, if any of you come in abandoned buildings like this, I'm not saying you should, but if you do, and you come across fuse boxes like this, these are asbestos flash guards, so don't disturb them. They're all right if they're like that. But if you start knocking them and stuff, they will give asbestos fibers off, so be very careful. So this was the gym, and that was the treadmill, that was the last remaining treadmill, totally stripped, motor's been taken out of it, techno gym, I used to go on them, the armed forces used to buy techno gym equipment. If you haven't done already, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell to be notified when new videos come out. I'd really appreciate the air I'd be dead there. Thank you so much for watching ALW Exploration. Bye bye. Looking over my shoulder, looking back at your door. In my head, it goes over and over.